What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Today we're going to be talking about Jerome 22. A lot of you guys will probably already know who this is. This is the guy that protects the likes of TP, Cloaksy, Nick Merckx in Verdansk. Now he doesn't go in on the same team as them like he did with Wagnificent. He goes into the same game by stream sniping them but instead of killing them he kills anyone who's given them grief. He claims them to be hackers and he takes them out. There is a big possibility that they may get one of these wrong. Somebody kills one of these guys and it turns out they might or might not be hacking and then Jerome kills them. That makes him the bad guy. In fact, he's already the bad guy because he is going into the game with cheats activated. He's going into the game with them turned on. I see a lot of things on Twitter where people are actually saying Jerome's good for the community. Jerome is like a knight in shining armor. Jerome this, Jerome that. Honestly, I don't understand it because, listen, the only reason these guys think so highly of Jerome is because the big streamers have spoke highly of him in the past. There's been videos made with him involved by Nick Merckx and others, and I just genuinely don't understand it. Why is he different to anyone else who goes into that game with cheats turned on? The only difference is for these guys is that he's protecting them. He's not killing them. So Jerome22 has been mentioned as Nick Merck's personal bodyguard in Verdansk in the past. And what we're going to do today, we're going to show you some of the videos that we found on his YouTube channel. If you do enjoy the video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. It's the best place for you guys to contact me about any streamers, no matter how big or small, if you believe they are cheating. Right. Let's crack on with the video. So we recently put a video out about Wagnificent playing with Jerome22. And within that video, Wagnificent said something about he didn't know whether the guy was cheating or not. And the guy killed him. He said, mm, yeah, Jerome, do what you got to do. And this is what Jerome actually replied to me on Twitter about this. I knew I would end up in one of these videos, LOL. Bad boy beaming. We knew 100% that guy was cheating though. He aim-locked me and killed me out of the air right before that. I did get revenge, though. But does that mean he turned his cheat on and decided to kill the guy in the game? Because if that's so, that means that Wagnificent was happy to play on stream with a cheater. In fact, he was already playing on stream with a cheater. It's just whether or not Jerome had his cheat turned off or on during that stream. But either way, Wagnificent is a Twitch partner who streams to a couple of thousand of people each day. Shouldn't be playing with people like Jerome22 in the same team. But we're going to get into it a little bit more. Magnificent played with this guy who is a known cheater. And I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description below, guys, if you want to check it out. Let's take a look at some footage that Jerome22 actually put out on his YouTube channel. As always, guys, we come across to the channel first. This is Jerome Gaming, 93 subscribers. The banner, he calls himself the anti-cheat. He uses cheat in the game to be the anti-cheat. Nah, it doesn't make sense, mate. If you just scribble out the anti bit there, right? So what we'll do, we'll just put something over here. Let's just cover this up. Jerome22, the cheat. There we go. Now it's making more sense. So he's actually got three videos on his channel. Nothing major. TP and Merc face hackers. I was in the same game. Avenging TP and Merc, it says on the thumbnail. And then the second one is I killed another hacker. How I handled other hackers. Cloaksy, Teep and me get a demo. I didn't get banned. So we're going to show you these videos today. And you guys will get to see TP's reaction to Jerome being in the game as well. This is the big one for me. Because any other cheater in that game, they're reporting them. They're contacting their Activision representatives to get the Activision ID that killed them banned. They're doing all of these things to get the hacker banned. But TP's reaction to Jerome being in the same game as him, it doesn't have that same attitude. In fact, he's almost pleased. He smiles, he's happy, he laughs. We're going to show you the video anyway, guys. Let's go and check him out now. In this video, you're going to see TP getting absolutely domed by a cheater. He calls it out. Next thing, da -da -da -da, Jerome the cheat turns up and actually kills this cheater. And then we're going to see TP's reaction about it. Let's watch it through now. Get this guy once. He's cheating. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, orange roof. A few moments later. Probably guns. This guy plays card too, you just tell. Oh yeah. I'm hit. Yeah. I'm oh. Hit. <laughs> <laughs> you got no wait. Oh, wait. Is there two? Wait. Is there, there two in here? Is it a cheater battle? Is this a cheater battle? Hold on now. Oh, uh, it's Jerome, Jerome <laughs> dude. No <laughs> fucking way. Jerome, you can't get this guy out before that. What the Come fuck, on, Jerome. Jerome. Hey, my God, did I got? Ah, my God, did I got the cash? Come on, hey, man. Yes, Jerome. Jerome, you gotta yes. help us out, bro. So does that seem like a reaction of a top level streamer reacting to a cheater being in the game? Because it doesn't to me. But they recognized Jerome. They were actually happy that Jerome killed this guy. And they were saying, you should have done it earlier. You couldn't have come in a little bit earlier. Basically, you couldn't have saved me from that cheater. And he said, you should have helped us, Jerome. And they're being happy and chilled about it. This is TP, guys. One thing I want to focus on here, though, is the kill that the cheater actually killed TP with. And he automatically called it out as him being a cheater. Yeah? So this guy cheats based on that one shot, according to TP. But if you actually compare that kill to a lot of these top level streamers, you'll see that small snap on and the small snap off at the same time. And it's a very common thing, but for some reason it's aim assist when it comes to streamers. It's only cheating when it's a nobody in the game. But the focus of this video today is the fact that TP in this is happy that Jerome's in his game. Jerome's just another cheater. Yet whether or not he turns it on just to combat cheaters in the game, it's still him in the game cheating. So that's the reaction of TP. And I genuinely think that it's disgusting. TP, as a streamer, should not condone this type of behavior in a game that he plays mostly. Now let's check out the next video that Jerome had on his channel. In this video, Jerome is actually in the map with Cloaksy, Teep and Merc. Now he's not on the same team as them, but he stood by them. They know it's him. And he's given them a demonstration of their cheats. And he didn't even get banned for this. So think of this, if somebody kills one of these guys using the cheats that Jerome is demonstrating within this video, they will report him. In fact, they will probably get his Activision ID, contact their Activision representative, give them the ID and say, this guy is cheating. And within seconds, minutes, hours maybe, the guy will be banned from the game. But for some reason, they're okay with Jerome giving them a demonstration of these cheats in the game. Let's watch the video through now and you'll see the reaction of Cloaksy Teep and Merc throughout. Like, shoot me and then bang. You can see in the bottom left corner, Merc, JD, <laughs> Teep, and Cloaksy are all on the same team. You can see on the kill feed, then it's Jerome who's killing them. But look at this. He's just demonstrating silent aim. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? What? He's just shooting at the floor. Wait! I gotta see this shit. No way. You know, I can... yeah, you guys see it? Oh my goodness. So when these guys play dumb and pretend they don't have a clue what cheats look like, you've got to remember that they've actually got cheaters who they class as friendlies who will demonstrate how the cheats work for them within the game. Jerome22 is one of their cheating friendlies. This is a guy who is going into the games alongside these top level streamers and not just protecting them, but having fun with them. So whether or not he's actually on their team, he is still in the game playing with them. He's playing with some of these top level content creators, top level Twitch streamers who are happy to entertain the fact that he is cheating because they get to put out a little bit of content about it. You've got Cloaksy now, his reaction. He's not reporting this guy. You've got Teep, his reaction. Nah, he ain't reporting Jerome. And then you've got Merc. He ain't reporting Jerome either. So why not? Why not report Jerome? If you are going to report any other cheaters within the game, Jerome is just as bad as them. You need to report him too. If not, 
then stop reporting people for cheating in the game. Stop moaning about people cheating in the game. Stop moaning about dying to cheaters within the game. Stop moaning about the fact that there's no anti-cheat that works in the game. And stop moaning about the small ban waves. If you are going to associate yourself with a cheater within the game, whether or not it's just to use him as a bodyguard, whether or not it's just for him to demonstrate how the cheats work within the game, if you want to actually find out how the cheats work, do some research. If you want a game without any cheaters causing you problems, Every single one of you should speak up to Activision and say, listen, we ain't playing your game until we get an anti-cheat. Simple as that. The fact is, that happened recently, and now they are putting an anti-cheat in with Vanguard, supposedly. And hopefully it is a good anti-cheat. Hopefully it works, and hopefully Jerome22 gets caught up with all the other cheaters when they all get their accounts banned. Well, there we have it, guys. Jerome22 seems to get some sort of preferential treatment from these top streamers. Am I right? Why is Jerome22 being treated differently to any other cheater in Verdansk? Why? Personally, I disagree with it. The guy is a cheat and he's just as bad as the rest of them. In fact, I think it makes it even worse because he's doing it to give these top level content creators an image of being better. Because if he's wiping out all of these cheaters in the game whilst these streamers are streaming to thousands of people, it makes it look like their games are easy. It makes it look like they aren't having any issues with hackers. And then you've got all casual players who are coming home from work, going into a game and just getting wiped out by cheaters every single day. But why is Nick Merckx not getting any cheaters in this game? Why is TP not getting any cheaters? Why is Cloaksy not getting any cheaters? And that's because they've actually got a cheater running around the game wiping out all other cheaters. Yeah, and this is another thing. This actually helps Activision with sales. Because if these top level content creators are seeming to have hack free lobbies, then it actually sells. <laughs> so whilst Jerome is cheating in the game and protecting all these top level content creators, he's actually helping them put out this clear image that there are no cheaters in Activision's Call of Duty Warzone for Dansk. When in fact there actually are, and there are people rage hacking on a daily basis. Jerome22, everyone, is a cheater. If you enjoyed the video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget to follow all my socials, they're linked in the description below. Thank you. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!